Now before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by 7 customer support. Don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 50% discount for Windows Series with RTG50 and 62% discount from Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG62. So don't forget to check the description for details. Hello everyone, welcome back to RGB Tech. Here in this video, we'll be testing out the one of the best Windows emulators for Android, the Box64 Droid. It's been a long since I tested this uh, almost a year ago, and finally it got a very big wine update. The installation process is almost same, and these are the system requirements. You need at least Adreno 610 GPU or higher, means from Snapdragon 680 or higher. Android 12 or above for non-root devices, requires root for Android 10 or above and Android 9 or higher for native, and the sufficient amount of storage space. All right, now download and install these both Termux and Termux 11 packages. After that, copy this command. Now open Termux. Paste the command code and run. Here you need to select the version to install. Here by default, select the native version. But if you are using Mali-based non-Adreno phone, then choose VirGL. Choose native version by value one and enter. The installation process starts. Allow storage permission. So that it starts to install the required packages. In the meanwhile, go to Termux 11 for display output. Go to its preferences. Select display resolution mode to exact. Set display resolution based on your phone. Lower resolution is generally better for more FPS. For low end Snapdragon, always consider lowest resolution possible. Enable stretch to fit display. Enable full screen on device display. Go down, disable show additional keyboard. Okay, now close. Back to Termix application. All right guys, it's successfully got installed. Now type command box 64 droid start to enter. It starts to configure all the things for first time. And there we go. Here there are some options to start wine also in debug version. You can also change wine version here. Better I will go with the latest version to see how this latest wine version performs in real time. By default, it's set to wine 9.5 or 9.6. All right now, to boot wine system, type one to enter. Allow permission. As you can see, the wine starts to update. Select install. And there we go, it's got booted. Now go to start, here choose the DXVK version you want. And also you can choose DXVK async version. It all depends on game you render, like if you wanna run GTA 5. Then choose version 110.3, it's actually quite stable. And also it's important to install these tweaks. Install DirectX runtime. Open AL and Nvidia Phys X 9.21 driver. It's the most important to support most of compatible titles. Okay, now let's head over to check out GPU Caps Viewer to make sure everything got configured installed well. As you can see, it shows GPU as Turnip Adreno 660, BIOS, shared video memory, driver date. It's also based on OpenGL 4.3, that sounds great. And the PhysX driver got configured as well, and OpenGL with up to 234 GL extensions, no CUDA support, and Vulkan extensions with up to 5.5 gigs of video memory. Uses devices integrated GPU directly as DXVK. One more thing. You need to install Microsoft Visual C++ library for better extended compatibility of the latest titles. Anyways, that's it all for today's video, guys. Hope you liked. Also, subscribe for more. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.